Oats. O A T E S. <laughs> Sorry. Garfunkel. G A R S U N K E L. I'm also Kate Micucci and Ricky Lindholm. Yeah. But yeah. When, you guys, when you guys say Garfunkel and Oats, have you guys decided like which one's Garfunkel, which one's Oats? I'm Garfunkel. And I'm Oats. Okay. Yeah. And is it just, were you like, was that because like you were a fan of, of Simon and Garfunkel or just? No, we just like, I look more like Art Garfunkel than she does. And, and she I look more like, like John Oates. Than I do. I'm short and yeah. have brown hair and if I'm not careful, I have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> but John doesn't have a mustache right now anyway. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I get my, my, my first question is just what, um, what brought you out here to Laugh Fest? They asked us to do it. I don't know. It was, they. It came through our agent. And they yeah, said, we've never played Michigan. Yeah. It seemed like a really good cause really? for yeah for Gildas and yeah we, we just thought it'd be cool. It'd be it's nice to play a new venue and be able to help raise money for cancer. That sounds like sounds like a pretty good combo. Yeah, because yeah. often when we travel, you know, it's not a benefit of anything. So this is you know yeah. extra special, and we're both you know Gilda Radner fans. So mm -hmm. I was going to ask like, what kind of influence did Gilda Radner have on your guys's? Um, I guess just, just your com your comedy education. Well, I mean, I think for me, I, you know, she she did songs uh, in her Broadway show, like Let's Talk Dirty to the Animals and stuff like that, that I memorized when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that somehow influences us some, and somehow. But, you know, she's just an amazing, you know, woman in the mid-70s doing crazy stuff mm -hmm. on TV. So. Yeah, she's fearless, hilarious. Yeah. I just love her. You know, it's hard not to. Oh, of course. Yeah. I rem my, my first introduction to her was... Uh, as a young kid, and seeing her episode of The Muppet Show, and that being one of my favorite oh, episodes. Oh, okay. I never I saw haven't that. Seen that, either. Oh, oh. that one? oh, it's out on it's on third third season. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, it's great. It's yeah. her and a giant carrot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. Yeah. Um, talk about just if you can kind of just your process into becoming the comedy duo um, that you are. Like, was this was musical comedy something you kind of wanted to do when when you were younger? We both did musical comedy kind of separately. We were writing songs on our own, and then um, we got together to write a musical short film, and we had so much fun writing together that it kind of unfolded from there. And then YouTube sort of informed us that people liked the songs, and so then we just kept writing and writing. Mm -hmm. The yeah. first day that we wrote, um, we wrote two songs our first time writing in songs. like two hours. Yeah, and we're like, whoa, this is so easy. So easy. And then we now wanted to play it for easy. somebody. So <laughs> we got we got Ricky's guitar. You didn't even have a case. Like, I didn't we have just a guitar like carried case it yet. to Ricky's friend's house and we played her friend our songs and she was like, cool. Like, you know, like we kind of just bombarded, you. you know, her evening. Yeah. And uh, we just called people until we so, so someone answered and we're like, we have these songs, we have to show them to someone. But and when then when you make something, them. you you're excited to share it. And yeah. I mean, that's what's great about YouTube, but uh, yeah, a couple days later, Ricky said, "Hey, come over. Let's let's record those songs. Mm -hmm. I want to share them with my friends." Yeah, I didn't know that all of YouTube would see them. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> when you put them up on YouTube, like like at what point did you realize, oh wow, this is this is becoming something? Because you know you probably you know started with like maybe a hundred mm -hmm. views and then like oh let's turn you know let's, let's back oh look it's like twenty five thousand right. now. Well, I think it's funny because every step of the way it felt like it was becoming something when it was like oh my god. Oh, Hundred people watch this. Yeah. Who are these Crazy. people? Like every step felt like a thousand people. Watch, you know, just kept going, and so it always. I think from the beginning it felt like it was becoming something when it probably wasn't. It was just novel to us that anyone found the videos, and so and kind it, of felt like it all the time. There was also this kind of crazy thing that happened because Ricky put the videos up and then uh, Ricky left to go do a movie in Africa, and then I left to go do a movie, and we were both out of the country for a good. I mean. The time span was probably four or five months, yeah. and by the time we got back, we looked and we're like, "Whoa!" I remember you calling me though midway. Like I, I don't know where we were in our travels, but you're like, "People are watching these videos." Yeah. So yeah, it was definitely YouTube that was like, "Hey guys, keep going." <laughs> Has there been one video that I, you've been just on the amount of the response that you've gotten, or have they all just pretty been? Have they all pretty been? Have we wow. been? Is, is there is there any one that you were like, "Oh, you know, this one." As they may not like this one. This one may not take off as well. And then, boom. There was for me. Was there one for you? Um, no, I don't think so. Which yeah. one was it? I was surprised how big 2931 was. Yeah, that's true. Because I thought it was, because it's very specific. It's a specific age. It's just, like, it's just, it's just a very specific people singing about this that I didn't know if it was relatable or not. And I was excited to find out that women related to it, you know, and men. It was weird, yeah. It was both women and men, so we were surprised. We thought that one might be more of a niche one. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of women coming up to us after shows saying, "Oh my God, I'm 29 or I'm 31," or yeah. 
I totally relate to that song. So, yeah, that is true. Yeah. That, was, that was bigger than I thought it would be. Can you talk a bit about the process of, of writing uh, a song? Is it something where you two are together the whole time, or is it you kind of start separately and then come together? It begins with a lot of brainstorming. Mm -hmm. Usually, like, Ricky will, it's usually Ricky that's like, oh my god, this happened, we have to write about this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, really? Oh, okay. Like, and, then, <laughs> yeah. and then I come around to it, and we'll brainstorm on that subject mm -hmm. for sometimes even months. Yeah. Like, really? pages mm -hmm. and pages of, of notes. Like, we I always mean, have these 20-page 20 20 documents yeah. of just ideas and notes and lines, and then we try to formulate it. And then we'll, you know, we'll brainstorm separately together, and, you know, it, it ends up being separate and together, but it always starts together. Yeah. The, the lyrics or the uh, melody is harder? Which one? Lyrics. Ly melody kind of just comes to Kate. I don't know why. She usually, Kate does most of the melodies, and she just like wakes up and she's like, have the melody. I don't know how she does it, but. I always have melodies in my head, so just, it's not, it's not like I pick the one from whatever day that is, but it just sort of will work with the feeling, or I don't know, I can't quite explain it. Mm -hmm. But then, and Ricky's really, you know, she's a word girl, like, Oftentimes I'll be like, "What does that mean?" Yeah. Um, and so <laughs> I'll go Kate and I'll be like, "I think we should say and instead of the there because," oh. and she'll be like, oh, "Okay, yeah." I'll get endless texts. Like I've really been thinking about it, and if you're cool with it, I think the should be. And I'm like, "Okay, yeah. totally. We can use the word the instead of you know whatever it is." Man. But <laughs> yeah, so it's funny. Um, but yeah. yeah, the word that just doesn't capture it. I think it should be it. I've been thinking about this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but thankfully, our strengths can come together and you know make a song. Um, talk about your fans if you can, because I imagine that uh, especially becoming, growing as as you guys have uh, with the group, that your fans kind of growing with you, and, and they have that sort of emotional connection. I guess you know it's yeah. funny. Yeah, I guess I've never really thought it. Yeah. Yeah, I, we just get excited when people show up at our shows. Yeah. We're like, yeah. whoa, people know who we are. Like, yeah. it's still feels new and, and for us it's funny because they don't think we have a specific fan base it's not like oh it's like the nerdy comedy crowd or it's the or it's like this age group or the, there's the, our demographic is so broad yeah. that we can't define it we're just like we're just happy that people come so if you go tonight you'll see you'll be like wow this is like this is not just a comedy crowd it's a very broad audience and so we don't really know how they come to know us yeah um, but we're excited that they do we just have no idea how do, do you feel like you're part of I mean, it feels like you're part of this sort of I, and I can't think of a better better way to call it, but just this sort of it comedy right now. You know, when, when I hear about people talking about, you know, what what feels cool and what feels like now and hip, your, you two were mentioned. Really? No. Oh, absolutely. That's, That's cool. cool. <laughs> <Good job>. Yay. <laughs> we're cool. Yeah. Yeah. Super so cool. cool. Look at no, us. No. We're crazy cool. But how do you know? Do you no. know? That's interesting yeah. because, I, you know, I huge Weird Al fan, and so oh, yeah. I, I hear, you know, his interviews all the time, and he kind of has that sort of, oh, you know, I guess I'm a big deal, I don't know. You know, he, he has that, that uh, I can't think of it, but just, you know, he's humble. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. he, and he's like, oh, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm successful. Is that just, is that kind of something you guys have as well, where you, it's, it's just like, well, I, I'm just doing what I do, and I'm glad that people are liking it. I, I think, yeah, I mean, we just keep, you know, I don't know if we're, I don't know if it's like, Humble more than there's like grateful. We're just happy that people come to see us, and we're always a little surprised. We're mm -hmm. always like, oh, I hope people come, and when they do, we're like, yay! So it's yeah, it's not even like, oh, I'm I'm humble. It's not that. It's just like, we're j we never we never actually know when we arrive at a city if people are gonna like us there. So okay. it's it's always it's always pretty neat when they show up. <laughs> and we have to say, last night we played two shows here in Grand Rapids, and it, it was, was so fun. insane. The people yeah. were so great. Like, yeah. you know, like they were so into it. Because sometimes audiences won't be as, you know, lively, and this town is like so, yeah. so much fun. So yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to perform again tonight. Yeah, me too. And, and one thing I heard is that you guys, when you, when you travel, um, you, you kind of buck each other up and, and say, hey, there may have been someone who came, who drove like two hours to come to one of our mm -hmm. shows. Yeah, yeah. Because some, most of the times there are, there is mm -hmm. somebody who will be like, oh my god, I you know, I I or they flew or, or like so, you know, it's yeah. like they've they've gone way out of their way to come see us, and so for us to not do our best wouldn't be fair mm -hmm. to them. So we, and it's always that fourth show. So we'll like do two shows on Friday and then we'll do two shows on Saturday. And it's that last show. It's like we just performed for an hour and met people for like an hour, and then we're performing the second time that night. That's when we feel tired. And then we're like, okay, let's 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 mentally re like reset so that they get 
as good of a show as the people who came at 8 o'clock on Friday. We want them to all have a good experience. You and know? often that's the weirdest show. Yeah, <laughs> which is the most fun. Yeah. <laughs> when we're super tired, it gets really weird. <laughs> we tried uh, beer on stage last night, and I got a little tipsy toward the end. <laughs> what was it? Founders. Founders? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Very big here in Grand Rapids. Yes. Um,